Welcome to part two of the Myrtle Beach Drift Series Round 3 2020 video. So uh, my garage is a little bit of a mess right now. I'm doing some cardboard aided design, some CAD design for a rear uh, firewall block off there. I've already made this piece. I've had that on there for a while and I'm just making this top piece. Anyway, all right. So if you didn't see the part one video, I'll just catch you up to speed real quick. I fixed a bunch of stuff on my car, like put a new fuel filter on, did some welding and stuff. And then in uh, the first video, I showed what I did in practice and qualifying. I had a hard time finding a consistent line and I had a hard time just, I mean, being consistent altogether. So I didn't do as well as I wanted to in qualifying but I still ended up fifth on the board. So that's not too bad. I got a couple of good runs in with some buddies and now it's time to start the battles. So first battle is me versus Dan Stoneburner. Dan Stoneburner. So this is, um, this is who I'm driving up against in the first battle. First round of competition. I'm driving this Dan Stoneburner 1U Z-powered S14. fun yeah I had a pretty good lead on him so I just got to stay on him and I should be okay <laughs> all right Dan's a cool dude I like driving with him a good run he straightened so i'm fairly certain i got that but i also went off course a little bit i think just because he straightened i was freaking out a little bit they want us to go down there yeah go down there okay and see who progressed i, I don't have a radio okay me yeah okay Woo! all right i won that battle I'm about to battle Hugo Gonzalez. He has a twin turbo 350Z. However, he's not running the best tires. I've got better grippier tires, but he has better alignment stuff. So we'll see what happens. I have no idea to be honest, because he is a dang good driver and he's been killing it this year. correction huge huge correction he has to spin or also have a bigger correction for me to win <laughs>
think Hugo got that. I think Hugo got it. Awesome. I did not expect that. I did not expect to get the win. My microphone started getting messed up there. So here's what happened. In my follow run with Hugo, uh, I thought I lost because I straightened there. Uh, after Hugo and I went and talked to the judges later, what they said is that Hugo threw an additional angle about halfway through that rear zone um, to scrub speed. And because of that, they called it a correction or an unfollowable line, which resulted in me straightening or angle stalling. So they put Hugo at fault for my straighten. You can also see right here, this is where he's trying to scrub speed, and he just went a little bit too wide and hit that outer clip like with that wheel. Brandon has a 1UZ swapped Cressida MX-73. Love driving with these. So, OK Drift Team, I dro uh, I've driven them quite a bit here this year. They're just super awesome dudes. Cool cars, cool dudes. He just barely got the wheel and a little bit of the tire. Yeah, or, yeah man. so good man that was so good he was so much closer on me uh, so he might win the chase run because he was so much closer I mean he touched me <laughs> yeah one more time
for watching. Make sure to check out my channel for other A86 drift videos and technical videos. Like, comment, subscribe, and share. Also, keep an eye out for my next video to drop, which will be a season recap that will show where I ended up in the overall season for the Myrtle Beach Drift Series.